and welcome to Jitter Diary. So in today's video, I will be showing you how I achieved this low puff using the Anjaki's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating <laughs> Curling Gel. And this was the product combination I used for my wash day. It was actually the third weekend in a row that I had used this. I really, really liked it. So it was the Anjaki's Not On My Watch to Pre-Pool. The Fro Lady Natural Hair Shampoo to Cleanse and the L'Oreal LV Total Repair Restoring Mask Deep Condition. So this is my hair freshly washed. I know it looks <laughs> insane but my hair was really really soft and yeah it just felt good with those products. Though for this particular wash day I was very very tired. I had spent the weekend out of town. Oh this is the leave-in I used, the half and half hydrating leave-in. But basically what I'm trying to say is that I didn't have enough time, like all the time that I usually have to do my wash day. So I literally pre put for an hour instead of overnight and I did condition for one hour instead of two hours. And it was okay, like my hair still felt, you know, nice. And then with the leave-in, usually I like to part my hair, put it in sections, but I was very, very tired. This was a Sunday evening and that's why I did it in one section. If you have time, if you're, you know, you're having a, a chill wash day, definitely section your hair. But this was me just showing you that sometimes, you know, life gets real and you just don't have the motivation to do all that, but you have to wash your hair. So this is the gel, the Anjaki's flaxseed recipes, don't shrink flaxseed elongating curling gel. So for the low puff, and I went for low puff because I knew that I didn't have two days, you know, for a style to set. <laughs> I just sectioned my hair here so I could apply the gel in smaller bits and spread it more evenly and the back of my hair is slightly curly so it's it's very easy you know to deal with as you can as you can tell and I just added a bit more gel to my ends and I use a soft-ish brush to just sleek everything down and put it in place so just to help stretch you know my kinky hair I did leave it in a ponytail holder as I was working on the other section and I made a second one so I pretty much parted my hair in, you know, in three large sections as you can see and just added a generous amount of gel to the second section as well so I was being very generous with the, with the gel just to note the leave-in that I used yeah does not flake with this gel and that's why I used it. If you're using your own other random leave-in, just try and test it on your hands to make sure that it doesn't, you know, curdle or leave any lumps. Because you might just, you know, try a product combination directly on your hair and find yourself with a whole bunch of flakes. So once I was done with the second section, I added it to the back one. And then for the front, I opted for a middle part. And I got a generous amount of gel once again. Though after I played this back, I realized that I didn't apply enough gel to the ends of <laughs> this front section. As you can tell, it would have helped, you know, elongate it more. And my hair is almost armpit length, so it's longer than shoulder length. And that's how I was able to get away with it. If my hair was much shorter, you know... <laughs> Those two pieces of hair would not have made it into the back of that ponytail holder or where the ponytail holder is placed at the, the back of my head but you get it <laughs> and then I just slid everything down with the, my soft-ish brush and then added a ponytail holder over the one that I had before so in my mind I thought <laughs> I would put that in and then go in somehow and remove the first ponytail holder as you will see but I don't know like I was just being really really dumb it was an epic fail and ended up taking out the ponytail holder I just put in I didn't realize it until you know it was almost out so as you will see, I just had to you know, take everything out and put it in one swoop. 
and this is where having thin fine hair comes in because you know with thin hair i was able to hold everything in one hand if your hair is thicker you may not be able to do this so at least i managed to get away with it and then and then <laughs> not then i then went in with just more gel over the bits that looked frizzy and hadn't you know been slicked down properly just lots and lots of gel and this gel is kind of lightweight and slightly moisturizing it's not too drying of a gel so i do like that about it and then i just loosened the back so as not to pull my nape hair some of you know what i'm talking about <laughs> When you bend over and you have a very tight ponytail, you can feel the hairs at the back of your head literally snapping off. So I just, you know, loosened it to avoid that. Then I brushed my edges some more. Then I got my beloved satin headscarf and tied it over. And then I saw a YouTuber called One Smart Fro do what I'm about to do next, and that is to double wrap your hair. So you, it's where you get a second headscarf. It can even be cotton. In fact, preferably it should be cotton. And you use it to, um, to one, <laughs> help you hold on to the satin headscarf because I, like my, my satin headscarf does slip off if I have a sleek style during the night. So it, this helps secure the satin headscarf. And then you also tie it over that bulge over your crown and sometimes if you don't stick it down properly like you will end up with a bulge at your on your crown area so yeah that's what i did but it was just for the first night throughout the rest of the week i did use the satin headscarf sorry the cotton headscarf over the satin one but just to help secure it and then this was my hair the following morning it was very very damp <laughs> but i was expecting that because you know like my hair can dry overnight so that is what it was looking like i know it looks dry here but it was actually damp it's just that my hair is kinky and i got some oil which is stopped all over and jackie's oil and i just used that to help fluff out the the puff itself and with any of the excess i just patted it over my hair And here we go the day one results this slope up actually really liked it and then this was the following day i just continued you know with what i'd done the, the day before just took down my scarf and then i added a bit of oil to my hands And then fluffed out the puff with my fingers. And this is what it was looking like. So I wore my hair like this for an entire week. And this was the last day and a Friday. And I would be honest with you, like by Thursday, my hair was itching like crazy, like especially the bit where the ponytail holder was. So I was glad that Friday was the last day, but it did serve its purpose. And I was, I am glad I, I did this style. So once again, I added just a bit of oil to my hands, fluffed out the low puff, with excess oil just dabbed over my hair. And this is what it looked like on day five so that is it thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and found it useful let me know what you think and i will see you in the next one bye